John Bainbridge, born 1953, is an English author and campaigner for countryside preservation and access. He read literature and social history at the University of East Anglia. Born in West Bromwich, Staffordshire, Bainbridge spent his childhood at 15 Ray Hall Lane, Great Bar, and was educated at Hampstead Primary School, Grovevale School and Dartmouth Comprehensive. It was from there that he began exploring the British countryside, often taking walking tours that lasted for months at a time. He moved to Devon as a teenager and became very knowledgeable about Dartmoor. Bainbridge served as chief executive of the Dartmoor Preservation Association from 1996 to 2005, and led the victorious campaign to save the archaeologically important Shaw Moor from waste tipping by the China clay industry. He led the campaign for right to roam in Devon, which culminated in the Countryside and Rights of Way Act. He has opposed the military presence on Dartmoor for which he was praised by Anthony Steen MP in the House of Commons in 2003. An unapologetic trespasser Bainbridge remains a steadfast campaigner for countryside access. He has dealt with the matter of trespassing in his controversial book The Complete Trespasser, 2013 and more briefly in his book on walking rumbling, The Beginner's Bible. He has also written an e-book about the Victorian writer George Borrow. In 2012 he was given an award by the Ramblers Association to mark a 40-year contribution to the outdoors movement. As a writer he has contributed to most outdoor magazines and is the author of some 30 books about British topography, including Dorset Coast, South Devon Coast and Newton Abbott, around Torbay the Cotswolds, Worcestershire. In 2009 Bainbridge created the Teen Myth and Dawlish Way Long Distance Footpath, writing the guidebook of the same name. Having retired from active campaigning, Bainbridge has found time to publish two Victorian set crime novels The Shadow of William Quest and, as part of a husband and wife writing team, though published under Bainbridge's name alone. A Seaside Morning and A Christmas Malice, both of which have been well received. More recently he has written Balmoral Gill, a thriller set in 1937 based on the involvement of the establishment in appeasing Hitler.